With the rise of NoSQL databases, the advancements in AI and the popularity of web development, is it still worth learning SQL in 2025? First of all, is SQL still relevant? SQL, or Structured Query Language, is the core technology for data storage and manipulation in most companies today, whether you're working at a startup or a large company. In recent years, NoSQL databases like MongoDB have taken off, as they offer more flexibility to store data. However, despite SQL being over 40 years old, it's still a popular and relevant language. In August 2024, this article was published based on some research on job listings on Glassdoor, and it says that SQL, Python, and Java are the most popular skills. We can see here that SQL is skill number one. Also, in the 2024 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, SQL comes in at number four in the most popular technologies, behind JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and Python. It's still relevant for developers. We can scroll down in the survey to see the list of databases. The top four databases are Postgres, MySQL, SQLite, and SQL Server, all of which are relational databases. MongoDB comes in fifth place, which is a NoSQL database. So despite the advantages of NoSQL and MongoDB, relational databases that use SQL are still popular. SQL is also a core skill in the data analysis field, which has seen increased demand in recent years. We've looked at the demand and popularity of SQL. What about the benefits? SQL allows users to gather insights from data quickly. You can access the data directly in the database and write SQL code to analyze the data. Without SQL, you'd have to extract the data to analyze it in a spreadsheet or ask someone else to do it. It's also used in many roles. I mentioned earlier that it's a core skill for data analysts. It's also used by software developers as applications need to read and write data to the database in order to function. Testers or quality assurance engineers also use it to write and run tests. I've also used it as a business analyst to access data to help with refining requirements. Given that SQL is so popular and used in a variety of roles, learning SQL can increase your employability if you're looking for a job and value to your employer if you already have a job. SQL is also a fairly straightforward language to learn compared to many programming languages. The syntax is simple and there are many vendors that offer databases that you can install on your own computer, whether you run Windows, Mac or Linux. There are also cloud providers that offer databases if you don't want to or can't create a database on your own computer. SQL is a skill that grows with you as a learner of the language. Like many programming languages, you start with the basics and as you progress with your learning, you'll come across more advanced features and functionality. This means your code gets better and more efficient, resulting in faster response times and less work for the client applications to do. There are many resources for learning SQL, both free and paid. My YouTube channel and website are one, and there are many others. If you'd like to take the next step and start learning SQL to improve your career, you can check out my SQL Simplified course, which teaches the basics and intermediate level SQL. Check out the link in the description. So is SQL still worth learning in 2025? Yes, I really believe it is. It's a popular technology, it's still used in many companies around the world, it's used by many roles in the software industry, and it's fairly easy to learn. You might be wondering what kind of skills or features of the language should I learn and in what order? You'll want to watch this video next to see my complete roadmap for SQL, starting with the basics all the way up to advanced concepts. Thanks for watching.